Hey guys, so I'm here to do a general love reading. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these readings are general, they're for the collective, so if something here doesn't resonate for you, I just want you to discard it and leave it for someone who needs to hear it. And remember that there is no gender in tarot. I'll pull two separate energies here. The first I'll call your energy, the second should be your person's, but if they fit better in the opposite, just go ahead and reverse sides. Same goes for cross watchers. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is a new channel. I don't upload content to the old one anymore, so if you want to get notifications, make sure you subscribe here. If you need to book a private personal reading or any of my other services, all that information is in the description below and in the pinned section of the comments. So first we will take a look at you and your person's current energies, and then we will move into the next couple of days to see what's coming up, how it's likely to play out. Can I please have the energy for Virgo and love? Guys, if this one doesn't resonate, just check out your uh, Moon or Venus placement. Usually those resonate the best for love. Okay. So we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. the Six of Wands, we have the Four of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Empress, the Libra Taurus energy, the Seven of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, The King of Cups, Water Energy. The Knight of Wands. The Magician, Gemini Energy. The Star, Aquarius Energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, Fire Energy. I feel like you corrected your path here. This King of Cups energy, this could be, you know, somebody that you have kids by. It doesn't have to be, but for some of you, you, this is the, you know, a baby daddy or a baby mama because the Empress is here. But, um, you feel like leaving this person alone and protecting yourself from them is putting you back on track in life. Like, you can literally feel the difference, like when you're not dealing with this person. It's like the card says, you're you're loving yourself first. It's like you're going to respect yourself in this situation, you know? And kind of move towards something new. I feel like you actually have, like, some optimism and obviously some self-respect here, you know? Um... Mostly, though, I feel like you're really confident in what you're doing here. Um, the most important part for you is just healing from this connection, getting back your confidence. Okay. Sorry about this, King of Cups. energy is the two of wands, nine of cups, 
temperance, Sagittarius energy, the three of pentacles, six of swords, the eight of cups, the nine of wands, the nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the six of pentacles, and the ace of wands. I feel like this person made a really selfish, selfish decision here, but they want to fix the connection. They feel like things can be resolved. They also feel like you are emotionally detaching and moving forward here. It's, it's like, almost like they realize that whatever, type of maybe trauma bond that was here, I would say, like you've broken free from it. What's crazy is this person, you know, they see you in this nine of pentacles energy, like you're very good by yourself, you know? Their main fear here is that you will start something new and that, you know, you'll end up with what you're looking for honestly like they know that you're the fucking empress you get what i'm saying like they know that they're not that any man would be crazy or any woman would be crazy to not commit to you that you're a good ass partner you know but in their mind they still think there might be a way to fix it and they are going to try They feel you might have just played on one of their like abandonment issues that you may not have even been aware they had because you just stopped talking to this person. You cut them off by the pentacles and they're over here with this eight of cups energy, which is that like a, emotional abandonment. I don't think they, they're handling it well. Nine of wands, it's like triggering them into some past traumas. So in the most likely outcome, we have the devil. Capricorn energy. The Page of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Page of Wands. The Moon. Pisces energy. The Three of Cups. The Seven of Cups. The Chariot, Cancer energy. The Queen of Pentacles, Earth energy. Page of Cups. The Queen of Wands. This person like mentally ill because honestly every time I pull the devil with the seven of swords and the moon card I also have the three of cups here and the seven of cups it's it's like this person is about to to do some crazy narcissistic type of thing here it's almost like you injured them you understand like you're probably this person's main supply and when you cut them off well, they're not just going to go easy. So this person's about to cause a huge scene. They're going to make it... It's basically like they want to put up an illusion, like they uh, are moving forward with another person. And we had three energies to begin with. And we're back to the same. It's like
I'm gonna keep it real, I see the most toxic sh shit ever. It's sort of like, one, this person, they have like hidden intentions here. So like, if they are triangulating you, like making it known that they have another option, like that's on purpose to cause a reaction. Um, but also I feel like there are smoke and mirrors with other people, you know what I'm saying? Like, like they kind of make it seem like they don't even care, everything's cool, they're just moving forward. But really, this is like a big emotional manipulation gameplay. Like, this is toxic as fuck. Basically, it, what this looks like to me, and I, I can't diagnose people, you know, but at the end of the day, it looks like you caused some narcissistic injury, and now it's time for a crazy smear campaign with a side of triangulation. And it's all really about their like deep codependency here. It's like they are dependent upon your energy. But you just triggered their subconscious demons to the surface and this is gonna look ugly, I'm not gonna lie to you, Virgo. They're coming straight for your heart, Page of Cups. This makes me sad. In the advice, we have the Four of Cups, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Wheel of Fortune with the Sun. If you, if you do, in fact, do what that first card said, love yourself first, okay, and you reject this person, things will turn in your favor. It's almost like turning the tables on this person. It's like, if they want a reaction, you don't give them one. What do you care if somebody runs a smear campaign on you, especially when it's not even the truth? I have the Seven of Swords here, it's all lies. You know, they're gonna make themselves out to be the victim and you know that they're not. And you probably already knew they were gonna do something like this. You already see this person as manipulative, like they need to heal. Um, it's sort of like you need to stay committed to yourself and just let this chapter close out the way that it will. I, I feel like it's gonna be ugly, but there is happiness on the other side. And I know that that's not easy if you're if you're codependent with a person. It's like being you know addicted to them. So you go through actual withdrawals, and then you have this person that's just like toying with your emotions. Like it's not a big deal. It's disgusting behavior. But somebody who would treat you like this is not the one. Absolutely not. But keep in mind, this person understands that you are all that you understand like they see you in this nine of pentacles empress energy we have hope an idea like a single acorn can start a wonderful forest at the bottom we have grounded Keep to your roots and stand taller than the trees. You know, I feel like this is going to require bravery and strength. It would be a lot easier to react and respond and try to get everybody to understand your side of the story or see things from your point of view. But really, you just need to remain loyal to yourself. Let people talk. Let them sound stupid. You know what I mean? If this person employs flying monkeys, then you just know who not to deal with, you know? Um... The people who really matter, like, they know who you are, Virgo. You don't have to stick up for yourself for idiots that would listen to this nonsense or this Queen of Wands energy that's probably going to be parading around with a big smile on her face like you don't know she's about to look like a clown in a few months, you know? And just remain hopeful on the future, and I think you are. It's, this is like a valid choice to just respect yourself and get the hell away from this person. It's not going to be easy, though. It really is going to require you, like, 
remaining calm, cool, and collected while somebody literally is smearing your name. All right, guys, that's what I have for you, and I'll see you soon.